Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Milka. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, you already know the lingo, the little disco in the first part of the video. You know, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not doing so, make sure you're following me on TikTok and show this video some love if you like what I have to say. If you, even if you don't like what I have to say, like show us some love, like, comment, and share with your friends and be sure to check out my Amazon storefront. Now, let's get into it. As you can tell by my hair, well, I don't know if you can tell, but I relaxed my hair. I decided to relax my hair after 12 years, um, you know, partially because I wanted to, but it was, you know, I just wanted a different look. And it was something that I have been uh, considering and thinking about for a long time. Now, I decided to document the process and upload it to my TikTok. So I thought, after I uploaded the video, I thought I would get maybe 10,000 views, right? And it would just go to my followers. And that would just be that, right? Wrong. That video actually got 110,000 views, which is <laughs> triple the amount of followers that I have. And it sparked a big discussion about why I got my natural hair relaxed. Um, and that's really the purpose of this video today. We're gonna talk about why I got my natural hair relaxed. Now, in that video, mm, a lot of the comments were negative. <laughs> I don't wanna say most, but a lot of them were negative. A lot of people were saying that I was being lazy. Um, some people were saying that I was insecure. Some people were saying that I wanted to be white. Some people were saying that I didn't appreciate my natural hair. Some people just flat out called me stupid dumb like <laughs> a lot of people who had a lot of things to say some people are like why didn't you just flat iron your hair or if you wanted a more straight look why did you have to chemically alter your hair and this one girl was like i'm gonna get brain cancer like i i got it <laughs> i definitely got it in that um in that little 15 second tiktok that i created about me documenting my hair, my natural hair, um, my hair being relaxed. Now, to answer everyone's question, the reason why I got my natural hair was first, um, the reason why I got it relaxed was first because I wanted to. You know, I had been natural for 12 years and I just, I wanted something different. You know, I, I thought about getting dreads, I thought about like completely cutting my hair and just rocking, uh, you know, the cute little low fro low low fro yeah the cute little low fro like i thought about a lot of different options and ultimately what i landed on was a relaxer the second reason why i got my um hair relaxed was because honestly of the maintenance natural maintaining natural hair is a lot of work and <laughs> we don't really talk about that and the third reason was because my hair was falling out a lot. My hair was getting matted. My hair was, it, it was just falling out. The last time before I got my relaxer, the last time that I washed my hair, I'm not over exaggerating. I had this much hair, like hair with the palm of my hand. I have a picture of the hair that broke out and my hand next to it. And it was this much hair that came out. Mind you, my hair had been in a protective style for four months that I washed and I oiled, and my hair still fell out. So I just decided whatever I, whatever I was gonna do, I had to do it because my hair in its natural state wasn't growing the way I would have wanted it to have grown. Now, back to the maintenance of natural hair. The natural hair community doesn't talk about it, and because capitalism has entered into the chat of <laughs> being natural, we don't really get into detail how much work natural hair is and the time commitment. And not only is natural hair a lot of work, the bulk of the work of natural hair isn't actually treating your hair, it's doing things to make your hair more manageable. That's the bulk of the work. We're spending so much money on products. We're spending so much money, uh, so much time and energy, deep conditioning, pre-pooing, 
unpooing, depooing, like protein treatments, hot oil treatments. A lot of that stuff is just to make our hair more soft so it can be more manageable. And it's cool if you have the time and the energy to do that, but once you don't, it really, really, really becomes a burden. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I probably should have washed my hair more often, but I only wash my hair maybe once or twice a month, sometimes. <laughs> if I'm being honest, sometimes. I did not, oh, look at my hair with a little itch. I did not wash my hair as often as I should have been washing my hair. And like, I'll admit it, like that was definitely to my detriment. But the reason why I didn't wash my hair often was because of all the things I had to do when I was washing my hair to make it more manageable just so I could style it. It wasn't just like wash, condition, style. No, it was wa it was oil, wash, or pre-poo, wash. Then conditioner, then deep condition, which would normally took hours. Like I would let that stuff sit in my hair for hours, then rinse then do this, then do that, and then style. And even still, I didn't, at the time, or for years, I didn't use heat in my hair. So whatever style I did in that moment, I couldn't wear because my hair was not stretched. So once it dried, it just got, the shrinkage was super real. The style no longer looked cute because my hair was like to my, to my scalp like this. And then I'd have to restyle my hair. Now, from be honest, for uh, for 12 years that I was natural, my go-to hairstyle for 90% of the time was a puff. That was my go-to hairstyle. And as much as I wore my puff every day, it was still a lot of work to do my puff. And if I did not do that deep conditioning, blah, blah, blah treatment, that puff would not have looked as good as it was supposed to look. It wouldn't have. It would have been dry. It, it, it would, even when I did it, it would have been dry. It would have been like flaky. It would have been uneven. Like it was just so much work. When you first go natural, I think that work is okay. Like you, you don't mind doing it. It's super exciting. But I would say after a couple of years, it, it becomes tiring. Just because like you're realizing that you're spending all of this time and energy and money on your hair and not much, not much is changing. Like I would spend all that time and my hair would still break off and be super dry. Like I said, and then the products, let's get into that. That's when I mentioned capitalism. That's what I was actually talking about. The products for hair were so expensive. Like I would legit spend 70 to $100 every time I bought new products. And every time I bought new products, I would always buy products that were raved on YouTube, that were you know highly revered, that were this, that were that. And I would buy the whole set. And of course, most natural hair products is be like, $15 for a bottle that's this big, I would buy the whole set and my hair would still not come out the way that it was supposed to come out. What? Just, just thinking about it, you guys know, I didn't realize how much of the products that we had as natural girls, I mean, I used to be a natural girl, but that we had as natural girls that weren't, their sole purpose was making our hair more manageable. It, 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 those like coiling custards and all that other stuff, all of that stuff was simply to make our hair more manageable. It did nothing else for our hairs, but we held on to those routines and those products with conviction, with conviction. And after a while, I just got tired of it. I'll never forget um, my little mentees, but I call them my little sisters. They came to my house so they could do their hair, right? And so the younger sister was going to do her big sister's hair. And they were like, well, I need to wash my hair. And I'm like, you sure? It's already late. Like, y'all sure y'all got time? And she was like, yeah, so I'm gonna take like 10 minutes. It literally, they're both relaxed. It literally did take them only 10 minutes to wash their hair. They literally just washed, I mean, shampooed, conditioned, put some grease on the scalp and styled. And that was it. I was so flabbergasted because for the past 12 years, 
for me and my natural friends, a wash was a day. That's why we have wash days. A wash was a, a whole day activity. You had to make smoothies and custards and this and that. It was a whole day activity. And looking back on it, we only did that stuff not so our hair could grow, but so we could have more manageable no hair to style. If that is the culture of natural hair, right? Like that is the accepted culture of natural hair. Why are people so pressed about me relaxing mine? It's clear that in society, especially with like colorism and texturism, we don't accept 4C hair. You can have your 4C hair, but you better not wear it out you, you got to do all this stuff to manipulate it and to manage it and to do this and to do that. So why is it an issue when someone decides to relax their hair? Questions that need answers. Another issue that I had was like how expensive it was. So I realized that I could no longer take care of my natural hair. So what I decided to do was I decided that I was going to go and pay to for to go to a salon to go to a, a hairstylist so they could you know wash it help me manage it what i'm telling you for a wash and just a regular wash deep condition and braid for, when i say braid i mean like my natural hair and some like twist or whatever was 85 dollars y'all People would rave about these naturalists. Oh, they go to this natural hair salon, go to that natural hair salon. I would go online and look at their prices. And for a wash and a regular style with your own hair, you're literally looking at $100. And to me, that was just absolutely absurd because I remember the days where you could get a perm for 50. And I understand times have changed, but like, Have they changed that much though? You, it was so hard. It was so hard to find someone to style my hair or to treat my hair without me feeling like I was being overcharged. And then when I would decide to get braids, y'all already know what the culture is like. Come out with your hair this, come out with your hair that, you know, have your hair blown out, have it, but no scalp greasing, no this, no that. So just finding someone to braid my hair was such a struggle. Now I did find people and I'm thankful for the people that did braid my hair because they always did a great job. But even going through that, like people, there were a lot of people on my TikTok comments that were upset that I got my hair relaxed but no one ever really thought about the culture of natural hair that may push someone to get relaxed. No one really thought about how like expensive it is, you know, to do all these products, how long it takes to even do a simple task like washing your hair. And then the, the, the price gouging when it comes to going to salons or, or getting your hair braided, there was people that were trying to charge me 40 and $50 to detangle my hair simply so they could braid it, which I thought was so disrespectful because it's like, if you're a black woman that braids black hair, this is black hair. You know, my 4C thick coarse hair is black hair. If you can't, if my hair is a burden for you to braid, then you're not a braider. But I couldn't say that because the culture around it existed. So I say all that to say, even though people supported the natural movement in theory, there was not an ecosystem that was built to actually help the natural girl stay sustainable. There isn't, there wasn't. And a lot of the girls that I know that are natural now, they don't wear their real hair out. It's either they heat train their hair or they always have their hair in wigs or sew-ins or they cut it all off or they get locks. Very few people are rock, are still rocking, you know, the puffs and the braids. And if you ask them, one of the things that are common is the ecosystem around it. How difficult it is to manage. And then if you decide that you don't want to manage and you want to pay someone to manage, how expensive it is. I relax my hair, obviously for myself and because I want a different look. But I realized that I no longer wanted to be a part of that. 
I no longer wanted to feel bad about having coarse, forcey, thick hair. It would piss me off when I would go to someone to braid my hair and they spent the whole time complaining and adding additional fees because they felt like they had to detangle my hair when I felt like my hair was perfectly detangled. But again, that was the culture. So for those people on my TikTok that were asking, well, how could you relax your hair? The real question is, how could I not have relaxed my hair? That's the real question. Like, why did it take me this long? Like, why did it take for the front of my hair to start falling out, for me to start having little patches of my hair to do it when I could have did it a long time ago and to treat my hair? I've been relaxed for over, uh, a little over a month now. And <laughs> it's so crazy to see how I know my, like I'm starting to learn my hair. Like, because when I do, because I now, even though I go to the salon and my stylist, my hairstylist is the primary caretaker of my hair, I still like to wash it. Like it's so, it's so relaxing to me now. And it's so crazy to see how like, because I'm not spending so much time making my hair more manageable, I'm actually taking the time to learn my hair. Like I'm learning what happens with my scalp when it gets too dry or when it gets too hydrated. I'm learning what products work best in my hair, not just buying a product simply because a YouTube person swears by it. When I was natural, because again, most of my time was about management and making my hair manageable, I did not have the time. By the time I was done doing all that stuff to make it soft, I was tired. I would just slap whatever product I thought worked and I kept on going. But it's such a difference now. It's such a relief. Like I could comb through my hair and be like, oh, I need to do, I need to try something different to make sure it, it you know, it, it feels nice or it feels soft. So I don't regret relaxing my hair. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> if I'm 100% honest, I don't know if I'm going back. I think I might I might just hang out with the relaxed girlies for a while because it's, it's easier on this side. It is easier on this side and I enjoy it. So I hope that answered your question on why I got my hair relaxed. Like I said, I'll do it again. If you're watching this and you're str and you've been struggling with the idea, come on over, come on over. It's easier. You'll have a better time. You'll actually enjoy your hair. Come on over. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for rocking with me. I hope to see y'all next time. Whew.